Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm back in the video, and today I'm going to be talking about why the Miami Heat could be the next super team. Now, if you don't know what my channel really is or are familiar with this next super team series, usually in a normal season, I go through every single team in the NBA, highlight their biggest strengths, and say why they could potentially be very successful in the next coming season. Well, this offseason was not normal, so basically, I'm going to be going through the most interesting team in the NBA and why I think they could surprise the league. And now, although Miami Heat did make the NBA final, finals last year and it wouldn't really be a surprise if they're very very good it would be a huge shocker if they became a very super team and solidify themselves as consistent finals contenders with a healthy east and everything i think the heat could still be a very very good team and i'm beginning to all those reasons why i think they are still a very good team in this video so if you like the aim point hit the like button and subscribe button in the absolute world to me and without further ado without rambling on too much let's get right into this video my first reason is going to be their culture and the reason i have it as their culture is because I mean, no matter what happens, injuries, anything, that culture is going to stay the same. As all the players have been going through the same system, no matter how much playing time they have gotten. So every player has bought in this system and is fully invested into this culture and system that the Miami Heat do have. So with them having one of the best cultures in the entire NBA, and this, their culture being that extremely hardworking every night, players in and out, doesn't matter, next player up, they're, they all bought into it, all work extremely hard, no BS type culture, well, that that is a huge huge great recipe for success and they have shown that this culture can lead them very very far because just last year we saw them make to the finals with a less talented roster than teams that they were going up against because let's be honest yes Bam Adebayo is great yes Jimmy Butler is great Tyler Hero has tons of upside Kendrick Nunn has tons of upside Duncan Robinson has tons of upside and Jay Crowder and they had a few other good role players like Warren Dragic, Jay Crowder and all of them but that is not usually an NBA Finals level team, at least talent wise. But what they did better than everyone, they did all the little things, all the little dirty things that don't show up on the stats. They did all of that. Extremely hardworking, very good on defense. And that is how they scrapped and clawed their way to the NBA Finals. So this culture is pretty much what propelled them for to their success that they had last year. So hopefully they can just keep building on what they had last year, keep building on this culture, keep building on the success. And maybe that can br also bring them to more success going into the future. My second reason for his video is going to be that they have an extremely flexible roster. Not many teams can say that in the NBA, as they can go many ways and still probably find success no matter which way they go. They could either stay packed with this team, see how the young guys develop, and see how much better this team could get with their current situation that they are in. Like, they could easily bank off Duncan Robinson getting better, Tyler Hero becoming an all-star level player, Kendrick Nunn becoming a very good point guard in this league, and all their young guys like Precious Achua and all them developing and they could really go that route and see how much they can develop and see if they're good enough to consistently be a finals contender with that or they have the assets to make trades and trade for really almost anybody in the NBA like we saw there were already rumors that the Miami Heat were top contenders who trade for James Harden and I think they could easily do that as they do have tons of assets I mean throw Duncan Robinson Tyler Hero Kendrick Nunn and a few picks into that trade and James Harden could realistically be a trade target for the Miami Heat and that would be huge so they could build a super team through just developing their young guys or they could also build a super team from um really just getting in trades because they have so many assets and I, they could also do a mixture of both as maybe they could keep some of your young guys developing up and then trade for someone that's not a superstar but is still already an all-star level player and a good veteran all-star level player to help jimmy butler and bam out of bio out so really they could do so many different things with this roster and they can go so many different ways they can be successful in so many different ways it's just very very fun to watch and it's just gonna be very fun if you are a miami heat fan I am not personally a Miami Heat fan, but if you are a Miami Heat fan, it's going to be very fun to watch what the Miami Heat's front office decides to do. Will they stand pack and let these young guys develop? Will they trade for a young guy? Will they try to do it right now? Will they do a mixture of both? It is going to be very, very interesting to see how they maneuver this situation and how they do address a very good situation they were able to put themselves in. Now, my third reason is going to be their chemistry. Now, the reason I say their chemistry is because it is a huge, huge factor 
factor as we saw with new form super teams last year with Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers although they were very talented and they did have some playoff success they were not able to really face real adversity because that chemistry was not there and all those players were new together now although the Lakers were in the same boat LeBron was still with some of those players from last year and also with LeBron James one of the best teammates of all time so the chemistry develops a little bit faster when you have him but we saw when you don't have someone like LeBron on that roster and you're forming an entirely new team you do have growing pains like the Los Angeles Clippers have shown so with those growing pains it hurts a ton but with the Miami Heat they're not a new team this team is now going into their second year together really with Tyler Hero and all of them Bam Adebayo is going to have another year under his belt Jimmy Butler is going to have another year under his belt with the team the coaching staff they're all already going to be in a cohesive unit going into training camp and preseason they're going to know what they want to do they're going to have their own goals set in mind and they all have bought into the culture already. So, I mean, this team is already, pretty much already prepared fully for what this is going to be and what this season is going to entail. So, with this chemistry already being built, they're going to be able to get off to a very, very hot start with very few bumps and very few growing pains because they have almost no new additions to the roster. It's going to be a very, very interesting thing to see how much this chemistry actually does help this team as they go a little bit farther along in the season and from the jump as well well in the beginning of the regular season that we are getting ready for it to watch and now lastly and probably the most obvious one just the development of their young guys as i mean this team although having very good veterans like jimmy butler and goran Dragic, also have very good young guys that are going to develop and going to make this team better as they do develop as tyler hero was just a rookie last year and although he did look great at moments, he also looked like a rookie at moments. And hopefully Tyler Hero can really start developing and to really start forming into that all-star level player people expect him to be able to grow into. Bam Adebayo already looks like an all-defensive team, all-defensive player of the year type of guy. So, I mean, Bam Adebayo, although he doesn't have tons of development, he still has development he can do as he is still very, very young. And he probably will get better defensively, which is scary to think about. And most definitely will get better offensively, which is also pretty scary to um thing about Duncan Robinson hopefully he can start developing a little bit more things he can put in his bag on the offensive game and becomes more than just a knockdown shooter which is great he already serves a role perfectly with the role he has but if he can start adding more like ball handling maybe dribbling a little bit he could be a very very dangerous player for this offense and then their new rookie Precious Achua although not the most talented guy is a very scrappy very strong guy and will probably fit into this culture very very well and will be able to very quickly get adjusted to how the Miami Heat actually play. But unfortunately, guys, that's my first video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Heat could be a super team? Do you think these reasons are valid? I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any video ideas you want to see me make in the future or any team you want to see me make before the season starts, comment all that below. And if you like the video and point, hit the like button and subscribe button. I mean, the absolute world to me. Y'all been showing tons and tons of support, and I cannot thank y'all enough. So yeah, hit the like button and subscribe button. All glory to God. Hope you have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. So you need to have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah.